everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you that how do we add radio buttons in the form. So let's have a look. This is my form and here are two radio buttons. One for male and another for female. But first we need to understand that why do we need radio buttons. So the answer is whenever we need to select only one option out of the given option. Then we use radio buttons. For example, here are two radio buttons and already female radio button is selected. So what will happen if I select the male radio button? Let's see. As soon as I have clicked upon male, my female option got deselected. Now if I select my female option, then my male option got deselected. That means I'm only allowed to select one option at a time. All the options or more than two options we cannot select. So now we are going to understand the coding for the same. This is my login page which we created last time. So I am opening it with the help of notepad. So this is my coding and we added over here the user ID and password and one submit button. So now here before the submit button I am going to add two radio buttons. So I'll be starting with P tag. This is my block level tag and the same tag by the name input. And the type will be radio this time because I'm going to create radio bus. Now, as I told you earlier also that each and every control must have a name so that the processing page can process it and can identify it by its unique name. So I'll be writing the name over here. And similarly, I'll be uh, using the camel case notation. So RDB is the prefix and male I can write over here because the first radio button I'm going to create for male. Another thing, ID. ID is again similar to my name. That means name and ID are two attributes which are used to uniquely identify the control onto the form. So ID will be similar. So I'm going to copy it, control C and then control V. After this, I need to give the value also. So my value is main, right? Now I'm going to close it and one text I'm writing mail over there. So that after my radio button, it will appear. I do not want it to be appeared before my radio button. So control S. Now let's go back and refresh it. This is my online form. I'm refreshing it. Now one radio button is created along with the text mail. Now come back and create the similar radio button for female. So control C and control V. What will be the changes over there? Here will be the change. This is my female and ID is also female. The value will become female and the text will also become female. So now control S, go back and refresh. So now two radio buttons are added. So what will happen now? If I'm selecting this female, my male is deselected. And once I click on male, then my female should get deselected. But it is not happening. And what is the reason behind it? The reason is that I have assigned these names differently. That means both the controls belong to the same family, which is radio button, but their names are different. So what can I do over here to group them together? I can assign a common name to both the controls. RDB gender that means gender radio button and I'll copy it into my IDs also in both the controls and name also so that we can group them together and they will be considered as one family. So now the changes are done control S now go back refresh it. And now if I select one, another will get deselected automatically, as you can see. Now male, now female, 
now my processing is perfect according to my need another thing that i have assigned the same name and same id to both the control then what makes a difference the value attribute makes a difference between my male and female because once these two controls will be processed then the value once somebody will select the male control button then male value will go and store over there once somebody will select female control button at the moment at the processing time the female value will go and store over there in the registration form so value attribute has its own importance over here that means it makes a uh, it differentiate between these two controls although my these two controls are belong to the same family that is gender male and female we have grouped them together everything is same their type is same their name is same their id is same but their values are different so i will give you the demonstration by submitting the form but before that let me add let me add this caption so the caption is gender and i want that my gender caption should appear in the same line right now it is appearing in another line so what can i do for that i can remove these p tags from my both of the controls now control s i can go back and refresh it now both are appearing in same line so along with my gender caption my male and female controls are appeared over here now i wanted to show you that how the values of male and female differentiate from each other like i'm writing here uh, the user id and i'll be filling it completely as the example is given over here now i'm writing my password and i'm selecting my gender female now once i'll press submit because i have used the get method method into my form so everything will appear onto the url so as you can see the gender which is sent to the processing form is female that means the value female is sent and as you can see the password is also appearing over here and my gmail address is also appearing over here so whatever the information i am filling and submitting everything will appear here so today we have learned that how can we add the radio buttons in our form in my next tutorial i will come with more controls to be added on form so till then stay safe stay happy